In other news, an event this weekend is looking to celebrate and honor the life of a West Virginia soldier killed in action. The anniversary falls on the same day as another event meant to honor military forces. West Virginia Tonight's Amanda Mueller reports. 2021 here in Afghanistan, we have a new mission. And with that mission, we will withdraw our forces from Afghanistan. At the same time, we will never forget the sacrifice of Gene and all other service members. The ultimate sacrifice made by Sergeant Gene Vance Jr. in Afghanistan in May 2002. He was 38 years old, a newlywed about to honeymoon with his new wife, a WVU student planning for his future. I knew Gene as his company commander and support company, 2nd Battalion, 19th Special Forces. Gene was a talented, bright, energetic soldier. He knew how to get the mission done. Sergeant Vance became the first member of the National Guard to be killed in direct action since Vietnam and the first West Virginia National Guardsman to die in battle since World War II. That our entire nation grieves at the loss of a service member and that their service is truly never forgotten. This year, Gene Vance Jr. Day also falls on U.S. Armed Forces Day, 20 years after 9-11. Everything we have, we owe to all of our active military, all of our veterans, all the great people that have come before us. Saturday's virtual event will commemorate all three with messages from leaders, music from local musicians, prayer, and a wreath presentation. I know Gene would want us to continue to bring our nation back together. For West Virginia Tonight, I'm Amanda Mueller. And if you can't be there in person, the event will be live streamed on social media or on genevancejr.org.